Hello YouTube and Facebook people. Welcome back to my videos. I have another thrift haul from the Colorado Springs Goodwill outlet bins. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to jump right into it so that this isn't a crazy long video. Um, so here we go. First thing, non-posh related. Here comes the boom. Awesome movie. Chad found these for my dad. These are two tins. Coca-Cola and one says rum pancakes, but my dad collects old tins. I think he'll like those. And Chad also picked this one up for us because we drink a lot of celestial teas, so it'll be nice to have them all in one compact spot. I really like that. And I think that's all the non-clothing stuff. Uh, this one is a pair of Ugg, like, shoes sneakers and I didn't know that they made shoes not the best condition but I picked them up just to try them because all you ever see is just like the regular higher like, boots by Ugg so I thought those were cool this one is a women's size I'm pretty sure they're women's eight and a half and they are polo shoes they do need cleaned up a bit because I mean it's a white shoe but if they don't clean up, I like them. <laughs> and it's my size. This is, I, I saw the size tag, and it's actually youth, which I don't buy that much at all. Kid stuff, unless I'm buying it for a family member. They're a youth size four and a half. But it's like these really cute, it's got the plaid, and they're Air Force Ones. They're cute. I'm a little sad that they're not adult size, but... Maybe somebody in my family will like them. Uh, Chad picked these up for me. Nothing spectacular. It's just a pair of hiking shoes from New Balance. And they were just a little bit too small. So I will be passing those on to another family member, maybe. Um, this one, I think, is for me. It's a Pokemon shirt. I couldn't tell you the name Squirtle. No, sorry, wrong side. Squirtle, I think. But I like that kind of style. I like 90s style, which explains this one too. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. I also don't really sell that much men's stuff. And this one is Big Dog. I know this used to be a real popular brand, but I don't know if it is anymore. But I just really like the back. It says Unleash the Beast, and then that's like the dog driving the monster truck. I'll look up comps. If it's nothing special anymore, then I'll keep it. This one is by Columbia. I think it's a women's size extra large. And it says, uh, what did it say? Interchange. So I was thinking maybe that meant that these go inside of the jackets, like you can unzip the heavier ones, but I don't know, there's no like place to zip this in place, so I'm not sure. But it's in really, really good quality condition. Um, this one I saw as I was checking out, it was just sitting on top of the pile, so I grabbed it. It's a size large, the North Face. It definitely needs wash, there's so much hair on it. But it's in perfect condition. And it's like the lighter weight one. This one I got for myself. The Velvet Underground and Nico. Sorry, oh, it's backwards for me. Um, uh, is that a band? I don't know. I bought it because it has a banana. And I like bananas. This one is for Chad. It's an extra, extra large by Cab... Cabu? I don't know. I've sold a purse by this brand, and I've seen their website, and it's nice stuff, so hopefully that fits him. This one I picked up for myself. It's uh, the brand Silk... Silk Vamo? Vomo? Not sure why. It's not silk, but I just like the pattern. It looks like a man shirt, and that's my style. This one is to sell on Poshmark. It is a Free People. Yes, this one's a free people, and I almost passed it up because I didn't recognize that... Sorry, I need to block out the light so you can see it. <laughs> like, I've never seen that tag before. But it's just this red knitted sweater. It's got detailing around the hood, and then it's got a cute button on the sleeve. This one I might keep for myself. I'll have to look at the comps. It's an REI Women's Small. 
And it's just a pullover sweater with a big front pocket. I don't know. I don't know how well REI does. I know it's a more expensive brand. I don't know if other stores REI is popular, but in Colorado it is. But if it's not, I'll keep it. Chad found these. They are size medium. And I will be trying these ones on as well for myself. Just a cargo pair of capris. Something I will add for the summer for hiking. I think those will be perfect. Victoria's Secret Pink size medium. Basic pair of black leggings and it has the little dog black on black right there. Excellent in condition, but it's just a basic pair of black ones. Um, Chad found these and he was excited that he found them. He did good. These are an Athleta size 6 and it's a corduroy skinny pant and it has like a cargo pocket on the side. So those are cool. I didn't know that Athleta did like regular clothing. I thought it was just athletic wear. And these I had picked up for myself. I was confused because it says American Eagle Outfitters Extreme Flex 4. Now, I don't even know what that means when your jeans flex. But then I was looking at the size tag and it's a 3032. So these are men's. So apparently men's jeans don't stretch. They flex. But whatever. I'm going to try them on. If not, I'll sell them. This tag came off, but that's okay. I'm just going to remove it the rest of the way. I really doubt that a guy would care. I don't care. I'm not a, I'm not a guy, but I don't care either. This is a size extra large men's Columbia layering piece. And it has like, oh, it's backwards. The Columbia right there. And that's it. Excellent condition. Nothing special, but it's a good brand. This one is by Loft. It's a size, no I lied, this one's a Banana Republic size medium. And it's just this really heavy knit gray and white striped. I like that the stripes are going this way. You don't see that too often. Excellent condition. Um, here's some shoes. Oh, here's one shoe. The match is somewhere over there. It's this really soft leather booty. I just love the way this overlaps. And the brand, I'm not sure if this is related to Coach, like Coach Coach, but it's Coach, Coach and Four. Here's the bottom. It's got like a garden-y scene. I don't know. It has like the Coach emblem inside and it's leather, size eight and a half. So I will have to look it up. And I think Chad found most of these shoes. Um, Chad found these. They're a pair of Patagonia suede slip-on shoes really good condition size women's 10 um, this is by blowfish i don't know if it's leather or not i would guess not but i don't know this brand size eight and a half and it's just a slip-on shoe excellent condition it feels like new this one's a mural leather strappy sandal it has the elastic elastic what's that called velcro um strap Really good condition. Super cute. I wish it was my size, but it's a size 8. Um, there's the match to it. This one I picked up. Now, it has marking. I don't know what it is. Like It feels like you can almost scratch it off. But I'm going to try and clean these up. They are leather Lucky Brand booties. And it has zips on both sides. And it has like the little Lucky Clover on them. Size 8.5? Yeah, 8.5. But if they don't clean up, then I will keep those for myself. The other match. This one is by Free People. It's a size 6. Yeah. And it's like this black blazer. It's got cute buttons going all the way down and buttons on the sleeves. But then it also has like this high popped up collar. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Yeah, it's got like this really fancy texturing on it, but it's black on black and it's fully lined. This is by UGG and I'm surprised they didn't get picked up, but I don't think people realized it was UGG because it's like a harder leather and not the suede ones. And then it's got like the wool stuff on the inside, but doesn't it look like a, a moccasin? It's cool. These are a size eight. This one, I believe, is Free People. Yeah, Free People, size large. 
and it is very oversized so I feel like this could fit up to like a 2x hello camera what are you focusing on the table <laughs> hello focus on me okay am I out of focus again ah what on earth are you looking at? My head's right here. Good grief. I don't know how to fix this. <clears throat> I think it's looking right here. Anyway. It's just this oversized... And it looks like it's two shirts, but it's just one. At the elbow, it has like a ruffle, and then it switches to this stretchier material, and it's got thumb holes. I don't know if Free People makes... I know Free People makes athletic wear, but it's called like onesie or onesie or something like that. Which that's not, but it does look kind of like an athletic shirt. This one is by We The Free, size large, and it's like a thermal material. And then it's got color blocking, and it matches the pocket, pocket. And then it's just a long sleeve. These I bought for myself. I am a size 28, and these are men's 28. And I don't know if the size conversion is the same, because these look a lot smaller than a 28. But it's just a black cargo short I thought would be a, a good hiking short. This one is a Nike running top, size medium, and it's a dry fit. I really like this one because it has the hood, then it also has the hole for a ponytail, which I don't have. <laughs> but if I did have a ponytail, it doesn't matter, I'm selling this one anyway. And it also has a few more features. It has thumb holes, but then it also has this roll on the end and that is for flipping over while you're wearing it and it keeps your hands warm because it's like a little weird mitten which is a nice feature and then at the bottom it has a zip pocket for like your keys but then it also has a little tiny pocket for like a chapstick excellent condition there's no cracking at all on the logo or any of the writing this one I picked up for my niece. It is a Victoria's Secret pink, size extra small. And it's just a basic, basic sweater. And there's the other match to the shoe. Um, whoops. And I think that was the other match. Yeah, that was the other match of the shoe. This one is Under Armour, I think. I don't know if this means medium. I don't know, you won't be able to see it right there but it's on the outside of the shirt and it says MD. But either way, it's just for my nephew. He loves Under Armour. This one is for me. It's a little bit distressed. And it says, original red dirt, Kaui, Maui, Hawaii, dyed with pure Hawaiian red dirt. So I don't know if this company makes their own clothes and then dyes it with dirt. If so, that's really cool but the back is more distressed. It's got all these holes and maybe a stain, I don't know. And then it just has a bunch of funny rules, which I'm not gonna read because there's a lot. But that one again is just for me. This one is an Athleta size medium, and this is a more popular style. It's got like the skirt and then the little capris that are attached to it. So that was a cool find. I was happy to find it. And then I hear one of the trends for this year is going to be bicycle shorts. So I picked up these pair of Champion size medium um, shorts, bicycle shorts, and it just says Champion right there. Excellent condition. Uh, this one Chad found, and he did a good job because this is really pretty. It's by Loft, and it's a size extra large, and it's this deep green color and it's this really long trench coat button sleeve it's got this really cute neck that has ruffles and you can tie it and then it's got big buttons that go down and there's no belt to it but there's not supposed to be it just has like this flap in the back but it's really beautiful i wish it was my size 
Um, this one is a flying tomato. This is my first time finding it. It's a size small. I hear they do good, but honestly, I kind of think that it's ugly. I'm just not a fan of the uh, pattern. It reminds me of a Halloween costume. Like, doesn't that look like it could be a Power Ranger or a Ninja? That's just my opinion. But if you want to buy it, it'll be in my Poshmark closet. <laughs> um, these are for me. They're Union Bay, size 11. And it's just this high-rise purple pair of checkered shorts for the summer. This one I got excited at first because I saw this and I picked it up and it felt really nice. It's by London Fog. It's got this cool little lock on it covered in leather. But anyway, I thought it was ostrich leather because that's what ostrich leather looks like. But it's not. But it does come with the longer strap with it too. So it's a faux ostrich. But it's still really pretty. I might keep that for myself. Um, ooh, this one, sorry, is a camera bag that Chad found. I'm not sure, is that the guy from uh, Good Life or Life is, Life is Good brand? I'm not sure. But it's just a camera case and it comes with a lens cleaner. That's what I'll use it for is for my camera. Um, this one I got for my brother. You might have heard me mention him in my last video, but he's a elementary school gym teacher. So, there's just another shirt for him to wear to work. Again, I don't normally pick up men's stuff, but if it's something I know will sell, I will get it. This is a Columbia, size 32, the North Face. No, did I just say Columbia? Herberder, it's the North Face hiking pant. I'm sorry, I'm trying to go fast, so it's not really long. Excellent condition, though. Let's see. This one is another Victoria's Secret pink, and it is a size extra small, but it's definitely oversized. And I like that it's not, like, bright pink or sparkly. It's just, like, a very subtle pink has the P on the front and then down the arm it says love pink so I like it I'm more of a gray kind of person <laughs> this one I don't know the brand I picked it up for style it is DRA Los Angeles size medium and it's so pretty and it's perfect for spring I bought this for my closet it's got like this ruffle top and it's supposed to be off the sh shoulder and it has short sleeves, a tie waist, and it's like a romper. Maybe ankle length? I'm not sure. Um, this one is Vintage Boyfriend American Eagle, size small. Again, it's oversized. But I just liked the contrast in patterns. It's just a lightweight sweater. Well, medium weight sweater. Um, Chad found this for me. It's a Lululemon shopping bag, and I will be adding that to a lot. I'm like collecting a bunch of them to just sell as one unit. People buy them. Um, that is the other match to the UGG. I'm pretty sure I showed this one already. <laughs> Two more things, I think. <laughs> this one Chad picked up. Kind of. It's a Steve Madden denim with leathery fringe, but he picked it up because inside there was one of those like Visa money cards in it, and I told him, my rule is if you find something in a purse that you want, you have to buy the purse, because it only seems fair. Because I can't stand the people that go around ripping purses inside out just looking for cash, and then they leave them a mess. So I made him purchase, well... I guess I purchased the whole purse and there was 10 cents on the card. This one Chad picked up. It was just a blanket that he wanted. Um, it kind of reminds me of Burberry. It's not. <laughs> it's um, James Pringle Weaver and it says dry clean only so that is on Chad. It's his blanket. He can take it to go get washed. I'm not going to. Um, I think, yeah, that's the end of my haul. Not bad, 20 minutes. 
that's doable you can watch it watch i hope you watch the whole thing um but thank you for watching if you saw anything you liked feel free to visit my poshmark closet at valamilk i will have it listed down below or a link so you can get there and i will see you in my next video which will most likely oh it'll either be a haul video or i have a mystery box coming from a very very special seller so be looking forward to that okay bye